Hello everyone, myself Sabri and I welcome you to our channel Solution Bridge Network and one-stop solution for all your power platform tutorials. Hello everyone, in today's video we are going to understand how we can upload a file directly from Power Apps to a SharePoint document library with help of a Power Automate. Here we are just going to use the attachment control directly rather than using a form. Let's see the step-by-step -step actions what we need to do to achieve this. First, we need to make sure we have an attachment control made available here. So let me go insert a form and connect it to any of the document library so that I will be able to take the attachment control out of it. So let me go to the source. I will say add a source. I will go to call it a SharePoint with the same connection. I will pick any random source from my existing data and connect a random list. Let me connect this and let's say click on connect. Let me go to the field section and let me say add field and probably look for something called attachments and click on add. The reason why we are adding this attachment control is just to take this section out of it so that we will be able to use it as the attachment control in our apps. So I'll click that data card which we are planning to take it outside. Click on copy and click somewhere outside of the form and click on paste. Now we have this attachment control copy pasted. Let me go to the form and let me delete the form. Now let me select this document control, come here and make sure I go click the edit errors and then remove all the errors. These are nothing but the default properties of the form associated with it. So let me go ahead and delete one by one to make sure we do not have any errors in this data cut control. Now since we have this attachment control, if you run and click this attach file, you will see a pop-up, your file explorer gets opened and from the file explorer, you will be able to select the required files and upload it to the section. Let me click on cancel and probably what we are trying to achieve is whenever we upload a file here, this should get go and saved it to a document library in my SharePoint site called Power Apps and the name of the document library is called document upload from Power Apps. So the next step, what we would like to create here is a Power Automate flow that takes the document from this attachment control and save it to that specific document library, whatever we have created. Let me go to the edit mode and I will add a button which will help me to trigger this Power Automate flow. So let me add a button and I will place it here and I call the name of the button as upload. Now we need to create a Power Automate flow. Let me go to the three dots, Power Automate, create a new flow. So I would like to create the flow from the blank and I'll call the flow as upload documents. So in the upload documents, I just need one input that is of the type file. So this is the upload file that we're going to take. And the next step is just to create a file in the SharePoint. Let me call create a file connector. So you have create a file and this asks for what is the site address that we need to create the file. So the site address is nothing but the SharePoint name, which we call it as Power Apps in my case. So I will select the Power Apps and the folder path is the document library, whatever we have created. Just look for document upload. This is the name of the library what I have created. So let me select this. Next is the name of the file, which we need to pass it from here and the file content will be nothing but this. So the name of the file be an expression that we need to refer it from the trigger body. So let me say trigger body in the trigger body what we're gonna refer here is the file. So let me put a square bracket and call the file and from the file we would refer the name available there. So in the single quote, call it as name. So the file name is accessed from the trigger body and within the trigger body, there is a property called file and that has a property called name. That's how we're gonna refer it. So now once this is done, we can click on save. Now you could see the Power Automate flow is loading and the upload documents is available here. In the upload, you know, you just need to call 
this upload uh, document flow run before that let's say if we have multiple attachments added to this document control then we need to pass one by one documents into it so let me say clear collect call documents and this documents is nothing but all the documents attached to here so let me say data card five underscore one dot attachments let me close this so whenever you click this upload button this call documents get clear collected and that will store all the documents available in that attachment control then for each of the document so for all call documents we need to run this power automate flow so let me say upload documents dot run whenever you see this it expects a file record within the curly bracket so let me open the curly bracket and close it and here we need to call that file action so the property what we are trying to call is of type file and that file will have two inputs so let me say file colon open bracket and the first item what we would like to pass is the content bytes content bytes make sure you spell it in the right format and this is nothing but this record dot value next one is nothing but the file name so we can call it as name and this is this record dot name if you remember in the power automate flow while we are referring we might have used the name in the smaller caps so make sure you use the same name here now it's time for us to close this curly bracket whatever we have opened so the file property is completed so we have a file property and this is the upload property and this is the closure of the run command now we need to make sure we close that for all command let me do the format text so in the button we do have a clear collect which collects all the documents from that data card 51 and for each of the document we have this upload functionality that is running now let me run the app and upload some documents let me click on attach file and i would like to upload these two pictures what you see here picture one and scenario based interview questions let me select both and click on open now you see these two pictures and once done i will click on upload so this should have triggered my power automate flow let me open a new tab go to the power automate section and see if the flow is running once the flow is successful we should be able to see that documents on that document library so this is on the same environment i will go to my flows and we have something called upload documents you could see the flow ran two times because there are two files and now if you go to this you see this is a file what we have uploaded and this got created a few seconds ago and this is my name who got created by the simple approach we are able to use a data card and then a simple power automate flow which has these two steps and we will we are able to upload the document to the document library so by this we come to end of this video if you have any questions please post it in the comment section and we will be happy to help thanks for watching subscribe our channel hit the like button and press the bell icon for our new video alerts